This is going to be a mental prep video for week number six. So as always, go ahead and get comfortable. I would like to say that while you are doing this little bit of breathing at first, try to stay upright. Try to, to have good posture and, and at least sitting upright so that we're getting the full effect of these breaths. If you want to maybe get more relaxed after we get into the speaking of the, the mental prep, then that's fine. But as we're breathing, go ahead and sit up. Make sure we have the, the full range of motion of our breathing. So go ahead and exhale everything you've got and inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Okay, go ahead and get into a normal breathing pattern. Go ahead and get comfortable, get relaxed. Focus on what I am saying and focus on your breathing. As I'm saying these things, a lot of it is going to be affirmations. A lot of it is going to be things that we are putting our minds in a positive space with. There may be things that I say that you you don't believe in. You don't think it's true for yourself. Say them to yourself like you believe it. Say it to yourself like what I am saying is the accurate picture of who you are. Get into that positive space. So today what I, I want to start out with is something I shared with everybody on the, the our very first meeting. Basically a kind of a rendition of a quote, very famous quote. And this is called the team in the arena. It's not the individual. <laughs> it's not the individual that counts, not the star athlete or the experienced veteran whose sole purpose seems to be to boost their own stats, build their own brand, and elevate their own status, or who points out the failures and weaknesses of teammates. The credit belongs to those who have fully committed to the team, the team in the arena. Those who have placed themselves below the importance of the team, who will never leave a brother or sister down, and who will be willing to always share the tears, sweat, and blood whenever it's required. It goes to those teammates who not only perform valiantly, but who always encourage others to do the same as they stand by their side. Those who embrace the discomfort of pain and failure, for they know that without them, there will be no growth. But those who do commit fully to the team and to the collective spirit that is required for this success, those that never quit or allow their teammates to quit, those who have waged war on the mind and all its shortcomings, who pursue something much bigger than themselves, those who at their very best know in the end the joy of team achievement and who at the worst if they fail at least fail knowing that the team performed at its best as a single unit will continue to stand tall even in the face of defeat so that their place shall never be with those selfish individuals whose egos and complacencies will never allow them to reap the true benefits 
of being a part of a team, a part of a tribe. Victory or defeat, we will stand tall together because we are the team in the arena. Also want to talk a little bit about two words, ordinary and extraordinary. What are the differences between ordinary and extraordinary? It's just that little bit extra. It's just that little bit extra that those extraordinary teams do to become extraordinary. Extraordinary teams consistently do what good teams do occasionally. Extraordinary teams consistently do what good teams do occasionally. We do what is required. We do what is above required because we know that our goals are far beyond the goals of our opponents. We were not sent here to just play a game. We were not sent here to just compete. We were sent here to change the game. We were sent here to make a difference. But to do that, it's going to require a lot more than other people are willing to give. We want to achieve great things, so we cannot have small thinking. To achieve great things, you've got to have great thinking with it. To achieve great things, you've got to maintain a great amount of responsibility. And with that responsibility comes a great amount of weight comes a lot of choices that are going to be hard to make. comes a lot of sacrifices that you will have to make a choice with. But if you are truly here to achieve something great, then we should be willing to carry that weight. We should be willing to make those choices, to choose the team instead of a selfish desire. To choose the team instead of my stats. As you grow, as you get older in sports, from freshman to sophomore to junior to senior, your responsibility also grows so if you are sitting there as a senior that's that's the top of the the top of the responsibility mountain in high school you are the end game you are responsible for your team for your teammates you may not agree with everything that happens you may not think that somebody is playing at their true best or you may not agree on who is playing but you as a leader have the responsibility to keep the team moving forward to keep the momentum going to put your selfish desires, your selfish tendencies to maybe feel like a victim if you're not getting exactly what you think you should be getting or if things aren't happening like you think they should be happening. You have the responsibility of putting that aside and leading your team no matter what. 
that is what is required. Great things cannot be established and achieved without bigger thinking, without hard choices being made. We want to be extraordinary. We will, we do not want to be ordinary. So we have to do extra to become extraordinary. We are here to change the game. There's a, a poem by William Ernest Henley called Invictus. And the last two sentences of that poem are, are very powerful. The, the whole poem is powerful, but the last two sentences are, are very powerful. And this is how he ends it. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. We are the masters of our fate. Things may happen to us. Situations may arise. Obstacles may come in our way. But nothing is going to stop us except for us. We have to do what is necessary to keep moving. Keep the momentum moving forward. Do not stop. Do not allow anything to come between you and your team and the end goal. Because when you do, that is also a choice. It's a, it's a choice that you make. Do not make the choice to lose. Do not make the choice to give in. Do not make the choice to cut a corner. Do not make the choice to stop short. Stay in the fight. Keep pushing every single play, every single rep. We are here not to play a game. We are here to change the game. Golden Eagles, we don't worry about what's happening around us. We don't worry about any kind of competition. We just hunt. That's all we do. That's all we know how to do is hunt. And that's all we're going to do. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Go Golden Eagles. Keep hammering.